wondering how classification accuracy metrics are calculated in this video i'm going to teach you how to calculate the accuracy for a machine learning classification model not only that we're going to learn how to make the worst predictions and calculate the worst accuracy and then we're going to learn how to make the best predictions and then calculate the best accuracy now this video is only for learning purposes so you learn how to calculate the accuracies however there is a lot more to calculating accuracies but before we go there hey problem solvers my name is kunal like i am the founder of data science masterminds i am on a mission to help you learn and apply data science effectively so that you can quickly grow in your career so do me a favor by subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever i release an awesome smart trick like this one also if you like my work please feel free to share it with your friends and colleagues so that they can accelerate their journey you can also contribute to my mission by hitting the super thanks button and helping me continue this journey so that others like you can learn and apply data science effectively to grow in their career so let's dive in i have with me some customers data that is exactly 4778 customers data and this particular business case is to predict whether or not that customer is going to churn or not and that can be indicated by this one is the customer will churn zero the customer will not churn and as you can see this is a balanced classification which means out of the 4778 churn yes is going to be 2389 and no is going to be 2389 again we can turn this as a balanced class situation or we are building a balanced classification model along with that we have gender tenure number of products has credit card is active member and these are going to be the features that are going to help us predict churn now imagine this scenario we have built the model and we are trying to best predict what the churn can be it can be 0 or 1 but for this particular case study we are going to do the worst predictions and then the best predictions so let's go over to the accuracy sheet where i have laid out certain elements and then we are going to do the calculations on top of that so now i am on this sheet which is called the best worst accuracy and we are going to begin by doing the best predictions so how will that look like but first we need should we should know what's available for us here so as you can see whatever statistics we had here i've just got that here which is going to be actual the total number of rows we have is 4778 or customers 4778 and then out of the ones the ones that churned as 2389 and the ones that did not churn is 2389 again now what we're going to do is try to get the best prediction scenario and the best prediction scenario you guessed it right is just going to be exactly what the churn was and so i'm just going to say is equal to this particular scenario and as you can see if i did one good prediction it's going to you know get me this best prediction summation here so i'm just going to copy that towards the bottom and as you can see it will just replicate what we have and so how do we calculate the accuracy on top of this then i'm just going to say is equal to if and i'm going to say if this churn is equal to the best prediction which is going to be for most cases in fact all cases so it's going to be one else zero and i'm going to close the bracket as you can see now within this the best prediction that i have one of them correct because zero equal to zero it's going to be one and similarly if i do one equal to one it's also going to give me one because again that's the best predictions it's just a mirror of it so if i just copy it down you'll see i'll get Four seven seven eight predictions right, and so if I had to get the actual predictions, how many of them are correct? I just need to have sum of all of these here. And once I sum that, I will get exactly four seven seven eight, which is all the customers. And then I can take this one, divide by the total that is available here, and I get hundred percent accuracy. Now this is the best predictions that we can make, and we can get 100% accuracy in this particular scenario now let's look at how we can make the worst predictions a worst prediction is exactly opposite of what we predicted which means we are just going to say not of this one and see what's happening so if it's say not of 0 it's going to give me true so if it is true then i'm going to mark it as 1 else it's going to be 0 and it's just going to give me exactly this one right so i'm going to say if this one is there i'm going to give it as 1 else 0 and then i get the exact opposite of this one so i just go and copy it down and you will see again i have made some worst predictions the count of ones and zero will remain for all of these cases the same 
However, the difference will come when we calculate the accuracy. So if you can see here, wherever the actual churn is zero, we have one, which is the worst prediction, exactly opposite of it. And so you will see that none of these records will ever be equal. It will always be opposite. And so if you had to calculate the accuracies again, I'm going to say if, I'm going to say is equal to if, the actual churn is equal to the worst predictions that we have here. Then one else, zero. If I copy this down, again, I'll get 4778 count of predictions. But this time, if we sum up all the predictions, this is where the difference will come. So you'll see that now I've got none of them right. And if I had to just take the percentage, of how many I got right, it's going to be this one divided by the total number of predictions that we made and we got 0%. So in this particular scenario, we got the best prediction, best case scenario, which is like 100%. And this is like worst case scenario, which is 0%. So there you go, guys. Now you know how to calculate the best case scenario predictions accuracy and then also the worst case scenario prediction accuracy. Somewhere between these two will actually be your right answer. Definitely, definitely not below 50%. And so we'll go on a journey on how to calculate or make predictions and on top of that, calculate the confusion matrix. So there is more coming on how to calculate accuracies. Do watch out for this particular space. And thank you for watching this video.